Love Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gypsy Poet Radio here on blogtalkradio.com front slash Gypsy Poet. I am the Gypsy Poet, and usually with me is the absolutely wonderful, mysterious, and sparkling, and funny, funny girl George. Yes, people, girl George. Say it with me, girl George, girl George, girl George. And she brought a wonderful guest, as always, every Sunday afternoon. She makes it a blast with none other other than Victor M. Penalosa of the Dragon. Of the flaming groovies. Is everybody with Hi, me? Hi, Victor. How are you doing, boy? I'm fantastic. How are you? Oh, fine. It was your birthday the other day. Your birthday, three days after mine. How about that? Oh, hey, okay. great. <laughs> I know. I turned 40 with the flaming groovies. I'm not complaining. That's great. Boy, I, I'd learn how to play drums just to play with the flaming groovies since my favorite band of all time. How long have yeah, you been playing too. with them? <laughs> what are How the long have you been playing my... with them? Oh, gee, since uh, last April? Uh-huh. Yeah. You I have your own two... band? You have your yeah, own I band, my... too? I have my own band back home in San Diego called The Phantoms. And what are you doing that band? I write songs and I sing them. <laughs> and play guitar? I like writing songs. Yeah, and I play guitar. Uh-huh. So, so you how did you end up the, being uh... a drummer? I'm sorry? How did you end up being a drummer with the Flaming Groovies? Oh, geez. Uh, I met Cyril in 2006 when I was living in Los Angeles, and he came into town with the Magic Christian. Yeah, I know I'm them. sure you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've known Cyril you know. for 40, 50 years. <laughs> yeah. So they came into L.A., and uh, I was really excited. You know, it was the first time uh, meeting Cyril, uh, seeing any of the Groovies live. And I went down there with a copy of Shake Some Action. Uh, I saw the show. They had Prairie Prince on drums, and it was great. After the show, I went up to Cyril, asked for his autograph, introduced myself, told him I was a lifelong fan. We exchanged phone numbers, and then I, I ended up in the Magic Christian for about a year in 2006. Because mm-hmm. Perry Prince got involved with uh, Todd Rundgren and, and, the, and the new cars. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that's you when started I playing Cyril. drums with him uh, back in 06, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Cyril's, uh, I'm a huge Flaming Groovies fan, of course, a Cyril fan. I mean, the entire lineup of that band, you know, Roy Loney, Chris Wilson, the entire yeah, history yeah. of that band. It's some of the most important music uh, in my life, you know. And Mike Wilhelm was in that group. Exactly, group. and James Fell, all the guys, David Wright, you know. Yeah. So where are you touring now? You're touring now with them, right? Yeah, we're uh, right, today we're in uh, Cleveland. We've been here for a week. We flew in on the 24th. Cyril and George were invited to be a part of the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, Music Masters tribute to the Rolling Stones, and that was unbelievable. Oh. And you got to write real. on the wall at the Hall of Fame? Yeah, they took us on a private tour. Uh huh. A-, a few days later, they invited us on this private tour. They took us down into the archives, uh, like a warehouse of all these incredible items that are not on display yet, you know? And... Uh, as we're walking down the hallway, there's this wall, and it's got everybody's signature on it. And they, you know, they said there was no way around it. Everybody had to sign it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we saw some incredible items, man. Like we saw Buddy Holly's coat, uh, wow. Bo Diddley's guitar, uh, Eddie Cochran's coat, uh, Richie Valens' guitar, Elvis Presley's gun collection. I mean, it was unbelievable. So is the Flame of Groovies in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? No, not yet. They Working should be. How come they're not? Uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Uh, so tell me a little bit more about your influences. I, mean, I know with the Flaming Groovies is one of them, but I want to know a little bit more about where you're, what led you into the realm of music. Uh, I have an older brother who's about 13 or 14 years older than I am. Mm-hmm. And uh, when he was like... 16, 17, he was already in a band, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I was like five. Uh, my first memories are just sneaking into his room and playing his records, you know. And he had Beatle records, Rolling Stones, of course, Flame and Groovies. And that's really where it all took off, you know. And my father was a musician, you know. I got, you know, everybody on my, my father's side are musically inclined. So it was always around, you know. Mm, that's always, that is an awesome thing. Yeah. Mm. But you know, having an older brother was great. You know, he had a uh, he had all the right records. <laughs> <laughs> they usually do, believe me. Um, 
let's uh, let's talk a little bit more about um, about your like uh, where you traveled and things like that. I want to know a little bit about where you've been and where you, or in, and especially where you want to go. And because I'm seeing with the flame and gravies, you're heading in an awesome, awesome direction. So let's I know. let's talk a little bit about that. So talk about where you've traveled and where you want to go. I want to know. Well, geez, uh, all over Europe, you know, and, and all these little small kind of indie bands that you get offered to fly out tour Spain and France and Germany. And, I was, you know, I was doing that almost every year when I was living in L.A. with one, you know, indie band after another and stuff. And then um, Cyril called and invited me to do the Groovies mm-hmm. in April, uh, a little bit before April, before the rehearsal started. And uh, we went to Japan for the first time, you know. That was mm. the first time I had been to Japan or any of those guys had been to Japan. Uh, Chris Wilson had been there before with the Barracudas. Mm. But George and Cyril, you know, they, they they hadn't been there yet. Mm. And that was really amazing. That was really, really amazing, you know. And I couldn't thank those guys enough for, for allowing me to be a part of this, you know. And then we went to Australia. And I've always wanted to go out there, and uh, I, and I finally had the chance to. And that was another amazing tour, you know. Mm-hmm. Very cool. I, I mean, this this groovy thing's really um, it's taken me a lot of places, and I'm very grateful. You know, I love those guys as friends and as musicians, and and I'm I'm always going to be grateful to to them for, for extending mm-hmm. the invitation to to travel and play music, you know, and make some money. Cool. What is Roy friend. Loney doing now? What's Roy Loney doing now? Uh, you know, I don't know. Honestly, uh, he came to our show at the Elbow Room. The first show that the Groovies did on this reunion tour, he came out. And then uh, uh, the second show was at the Chapel when we came back from London. And uh, he got up on stage and he did a uh, Teenage Head and it was so much fun, you know. It sounded great. He's in great shape. He looks good. He still can sing. But as far as what he's doing, I don't know, you know. I got to meet he, him. He was on Ken. my TV show back in about... Oh, 1980, 79 or 80. So I got those clips up on YouTube. So I know they're excellent he was, clips. He was young and spunky in his yellow jacket. <laughs> yeah, those are great clips. You had uh, you had Mike on there too. Yeah, Mike Wilhelm's on there. Yeah, I didn't get zero. Are... I didn't get zero until I did this radio show here. So I just got him talking. I I wanted to get him back then, but I, I could never get a hold of him. He was always traveling and stuff. Yeah, but well, Mike you, you Wilhelm, know. I've known forever. I've known him since the Charlton days back in the '60s. Yeah, that's an excellent band too. I have yet to meet Mike. I, I hope to meet him someday. You know. Oh, Mike's mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he seems really cool. Uh, so, okay. are you playing London again, or, or, or have you played Germany? No, we haven't gone to Germany. We um, we were offered Spain and Italy this year in December, but Cyril passed on it, and I think we're gonna line some stuff up for next year. Uh-huh. So you're playing, what, around the United States now? Uh, right now we're in the East Coast, yeah. East Coast. Going up and to, then you're going go, up to Canada, right? Yeah, we're going up into Toronto on, on the 6th. We have a uh-huh. show up there. And then we're coming back. You know, we're doing Cleveland, Boston, Washington, D.C. I mean, all over, we're going back to New York. I don't have an itinerary in front of me. But um, <laughs> I just get in the van. I'm just a drummer, you know. <laughs> Always a good thing. Um, uh, let's talk a little bit about what what this is, the Masons Europe Tour. I want to know a little bit about this experience that you have here. Oh, the Masons? That's my buddy's yeah. band, uh, Tom really? Frank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I met those guys when I was living in L.A. Uh, those guys are really fun, really nice guys, really fun to travel with, uh, super talented and that was my second tour with them, that European mm. stuff that I have up on my photo gallery. And, um, yeah, we went to Germany and Spain and toured all summer and had a blast, you know. He's originally from uh, um, Kansas City, but he moved to L.A. And now he's back in uh, he's in Austin, Texas now. And he's playing mm. guitar. My, my buddy Tom Frank, he's playing guitar with this man called Scorpion Child, who are, you know, on the road right now and creating a bit of a buzz. Mm-hmm. They're just friends, you know. You network when you live in LA. You network, you know, and if, and then you make f- friends, and and you want to be in a project with people that you can get along with, you know. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your your. I know that you've done a lot of live shows. What about your recording experience? I want to know a little bit about that. Do you feel that there's a difference between the two? Oh yeah, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. li- live is a, live and recording are two different animals, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you go in the studio. Uh, mm-hmm. I rec- I've recorded with my band in San Diego, and, and the Groovies have started recording a new album. You know, we're four songs mm-hmm. deep, and we're going to go back in there. And uh, at the end of this East Coast tour, mm-hmm. we're going to go back in there and record some more stuff. And mm-hmm. it's fun, you know. I mean, you, you get to lay it down and, and, and get the sounds that you want. And, Mm-hmm. Recording with Cyril is really funny. He'll just go, just make this part sound like, you know, the Beatles or the Who or something, you know, for the Rolling Stones. But you can take more time, you know. You can put this song under a microscope and, and really mm-hmm. dissect it, you know, and, mm-hmm. and get the, and, and take more time and get the tones that you want with the guitars and, and stuff, you know. It's a completely different animal than playing live, you know. Most of the time you just plug in, you get a, you get a good level on your amps and, 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 and the vocals, and you just go for it, you know. That's it's like really a raw cool. energy, you know, playing live. Victor, uh, is, uh, is Sarah writing any new uh, Flame and Groovy stuff? Are you recording anything new, or are you just yeah. doing the old classic yeah. Flame and Groovy? No, no, it's all new. Great! Oh, yes. Far out. I know, that was, that was my reaction. I mean, the guy's really, you know, the guy's always write new stuff, and it's always great. good. I mean, that Magic Christian oh, okay. stuff was really great, too, and the stuff that he's showing us right now with sound checks and, you know, when we're hanging around and stuff, and on our downtime, he'll pick up the guitar and show us these new songs, and they're great. I can't wait for you guys to hear them. I'm excited. I can't mm-hmm. wait to play on them, you know? So is there a new Very record cool. coming out? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're, 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 we're four songs deep into a new record, and then we're going to start recording when we finish this uh, East Coast tour, like at the end of November. Mm. The end of next November. Or no, this no, this November. November. Oh, this Yeah, we're going November back in the studio. November now. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I know it's exciting. So let's talk a little bit more about um, where are you from originally? There we go. Uh, San Diego, California. Okay. All right. What did your What Could've did your parents there? do? Hmm? Oh, I wish I I wish I did, but I know Girl Joy has been there. <laughs> I've been there uh, nice. in San Diego for a year or so when I was about sixteen. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty. It's just, you know, it's nice and pretty, you know. You <laughs> there was a lot of sailors because there's shipyards back then. I was yeah, 16 and I was military. working in the bars. I had fake ideas. Military, ID ex-military, cops, you know. Not much happening as far as rock and roll, but it's a nice mm-hmm. piece. Well, I was there like in, in 1962, probably before oh, you were born, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so let's, um, what did your parents do? I'm sorry? What did your, I know your dad was a musician, but what did your mom do? What did your parents do? Uh, she was just a housewife, you know. Okay. <laughs> she raised uh, us. Yeah. <laughs> do you have siblings? Do you got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have an older brother and an older sister. Like my Any of them ah. musicians? I'm the baby. You have the baby. Are any of the others musicians, or are you the only one? <laughs> Yeah, my older brother. He's a he's a yeah. he plays in the Zeros. Oh, cool! Mm-hmm. Southern California punk band. They were label mates with the Groovies no, back in '76, uh, '77. They were on Bomb Records with the uh-huh. Groovies. Yeah. So, what does he play? Guitar? Mm-hmm. He plays bass guitar. Bass. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your sister do? Is she a musician or is she? Uh, uh, she's got it in her. She, she played piano for a while, but she's a teacher now out in San Ramon, which is right outside of San Francisco there. What, a school teacher? Yeah. That's cool. That's what my daughter wants to be. But she's a big music <laughs> fan. She's always going to shows, you know, buying music online and stuff. Mm. But she's, you yeah, know, cool. just teaching and raising her kids. Victor, do you have any kids? Yes. Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to ask you, what are you looking forward to to the to the coming year? And I know that number oh, one is the Groovy Tour. I know. Of course. <laughs> I know. Yes, of course the Groovy Tour. Well, the Groovies, Anything of course. Groovies, you know? Yes, of course, obviously. Groovies yes. have yeah. a lot. The Groovies have a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but, more shows, recording, traveling, of course. Um, <laughs> and then when I'm, you know, when on my and when I'm not doing that, I'm back home with my band. You know, and our, our first record just came out. And uh, mm-hmm. I got to line up some shows and and you know try to sell those you know basically. It's amazing <laughs> that your band is named yeah. 
Roy Loney's band was the Phantom Movers. Did you right. did you know that when you named each other it just happened? No, you know what? I I spent I every job I've ever had was in music retail, you know? Like I worked at uh mm-hmm. I worked for the Virgin Mega Store, I worked for Rhino Records when I lived in LA and I worked for Amoeba for like seven years when I when I was in LA. And um I never came across a band called The Phantoms, you know? Mm-hmm. So you didn't know Roy Loney's group was the Phantom Movers? Oh, I Movers. did, yeah. I knew he had a band called the Phantom. I mean, there's, you know, Phantom Movers, there's the Phantom Surfers. There's all oh, kinds of Phantom, oh. Phantom Limbs. There's a bunch of bands with the word Phantom in their their name, but nothing just called the Phantoms, you know. But then after, I mean, after the T-shirts were made and the record was made, I was like, wow, that's kind of sort of not very original name, you know, but what are you going to do? Oh, no. <laughs> got to keep moving forward, I guess. There's like, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. So uh, that's amazing that the Flame and Groovies got back together. They were apart for, what, 10 years or something? Oh, uh, longer than that. Chris they broke up in 1980. Because Chris was in England and Sarah was here. Right. Chris moved to England. He joined the Barracudas, and then he was making his own solo records, which are really great. And, uh, yes, yeah, Cyril was in San Francisco. And so they got and, back uh, together right after right after Cyril did did our show, he started touring again. Right. So that yeah. was pretty yeah. cool. I think we were, yeah. we were rehearsing around that time that he, you interviewed him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. It, it was his time to start it up again after, what, three yeah. years, 12 years? How long it had it been? Oh, it was a long time. It was like 1980 or 81 since they last played together. Wow. Uh, so it's been 30 long. years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I thought it was 10 years. Yeah. My goodness, no. but you got most of the whole same group, is it, for, for you? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. George has been there since the beginning, right? Since day one, yeah. Uh-huh. George Alexander. And then, then Chris has been there since Roy left, right? Correct, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like 74, maybe? I'm thinking. Uh, that's something Chris like that, because uh, Roy was on my show like in about 79. They'd already broken up by then. Yeah. So he was doing the Phantom Movers there, playing the Mabu High and all the punk. Yeah, and I think James Farrell was in that band. Uh huh. And yeah, Danny. a lot of the same people that used to be the Flame Groovies were in his. Yeah. Band. I know. So, it's such a great uh, family tree there, you know. <laughs> yeah, all this mix, mix and match. Uh, uh, yeah, it's great. They're all right. excellent players. Yes, they are. <laughs> Roy's got great energy. He jumps up and down. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah, I like him a lot. I like bands that move around a lot. Yeah, I like him a lot too. Well, like, what do you two actually pick up the guitar? Is what I want to know. Oh, geez, I'm uh, just listening to records. You know, I have my favorite band, the Groovies, Martha Hoople, Kiss, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and the Beatles, and the Stones, and then uh, you know, in the '80s, I was really into REM. Those mm. early R- REM records on IRS were my favorite. The Smithereens, The Replacements. Turn me on to them. She's about your age. How old are you? I'm 40. I just turned 40. Yeah, you're a baby because the rest of the yeah. people are closer to my age. You know, where <laughs> I'm, I'm 69, so they're younger than me. I think Sarah's yeah. younger than me. I'm going to quote you on that. What? That you're a baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, compared I to us, you are. <laughs> I was going to say, on your cover photo, you have, a, like, this awesome picture of stacks of guitars here. I, want, I really like that. What uh, what possessed you to put that there? That is so beautiful. Oh, that's on the that's on the back side of a Flaming Groovies Now album. Oh, really? That photo is on the back of the Flaming Groovies Now album, and underneath that photo is the list of songs and the credits. And I'm pretty sure Chris Wilson took that photo. Mm. It's just a good look photo, about- yeah. Yes. I think that's James' guitar, and uh, that's those are Gretsch guitars, and one of them belongs to James Farrell, and the other one belongs to Chris Wilson. I think the orange one is Chris is Chris's guitar, and the black one is James' oh. guitar. Oh, it, it is an awesome looking photo. I was like, yeah, oh, right, this is fabulous. Yeah, totally. I was I was really blown away by that, so I had to. I really had to ask about it. And I see some. I wanted to come back to you to uh, your tour in Japan. I'm seeing some really beautiful photos here. This uh, there, this looks like a temple here that's on your on your page. It's like this massive tall thing that's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, they took us uh, sightseeing. Uh, the, the promoter mm-hmm. is, a, is, a, is a husband and wife team that brought mm-hmm. the groovies out there. And um, 
we landed, mm-hmm. you know, we went to our hotels, we, we we rested up for like half a day and they took us out to dinner and they took us out sightseeing mm-hmm. and to the shops mm-hmm. and stuff and yeah they took us to these really great old temples you know mm-hmm. and uh you know everybody was just buying stuff you know buying uh souvenirs mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. but yeah japan was, a, to... it was really great you've got a lot of fans mm-hmm. in japan don't you yes you know what I'm going to tell you right now. When before we went to Japan, uh, Cyril was like sh- showing some concern. He would talk and he'd be like concerned. He's like, "How do you think those shows in Japan are going to be? You know, do you think they're going to sell out?" And I mm-hmm. told him, "Look, man, the shows in Japan are going to be far out, man. The, the, the people out there are really passionate, you know, and and, and they mm-hmm. really love the band. And sure enough, we get out there, and they're like, you know, and they're sold out, you know. The fans, the, the shows are sold out, and then we play, and then you know." And then the fans, they block the backstage door. So then it takes Cyril, Chris, and George, it takes them like another two hours to leave the backstage, you know, after taking pictures and photographs. And then they're trying to leave the building, the actual venue. There's another group of fans there, you know. So that's another two hours of standing around, taking photos, and signing autographs. It was like they were just showered with nothing but love in Japan. And, and you know, and they and um, people were crying and stuff. And, like, these girls would cry when they were playing, like, Shake Some Action and You Tore Me Down. So it was a really great experience for those guys, you know. Mm-hmm. you got fans yeah. all over the world uh, of all yeah, of our do. shows. We, we've we done 44 shows now, and of all of our mm-hmm. shows, the one we did on Sierra has gotten the most hits on it. Yeah, I know. Point Those, to listen the to the guys are legends, you know. They all are, but Cyril yes. is just mm-hmm. A, mm-hmm. A, a, a walking encyclopedia of a rock and roll cool. And they're <laughs> they're colorful too. The outfits, boy, what cool outfits you got! I know, man. How could you not love that band? You know, when That's I first discovered them, I yeah, I just felt, I felt jeans them. and a torn up T-shirt, boy. You guys go all out. Yeah, you gotta, you know, you gotta have your boots and stuff, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. they had they had such great clothes, and George still has some of that clothes. I, I've do seen you, it. Do they still wear those clothes? Uh, no, not not well, no. Sort they of. They still those. wear trippy clothes. They don't. George wear George trees. brought two of those coats with him to Australia, and he wore them a few times. You know, he uh-huh. looked great. Because <laughs> I've seen him in coat. recent pictures. He's still dressing bizarre. Yeah, you know, it's showbiz. Uh huh. That's yeah. showbiz. <laughs> oh wow! I, I'm enjoying this afternoon because I'm I'm hearing all sorts of um, things that involve the blast from the past, and it's being brought to the present, and I'm just relishing in it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know when the Flame of Grease first got together? What year? Oh, geez, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Oh man, it's almost like a trivia question, right? I want to say '65 or '66 when they were the chosen few. I don't. Yeah, I guess we have to go back to Cyril's. Yeah, you can ask Cyril or George and chosen yeah. few. Cyril met I'd George. Like to, I'd like to interview the other two in the group if if they would like to do it. Oh, George of course. And, and Chris, boy, that would be great. Let's do it. Tell them to message me. Let's make it happen. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll talk to those guys when I get when I get back to the house tonight, and uh, I'll let yes. them know. Yes, and you can uh-huh. plug George's everything like, you want to plug. <laughs> yeah, I love George Alexander, and he's got a, a lot of great stories, you know, just yeah. like Cyril and Chris. I mean, they share a really rich history together, and they've got a million great stories. Yeah, this is rock and roll history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Much so, <laughs> from what I'm yeah. understanding. Mm-hmm. That's a blast. Um, so do you have something that you want to plug? Uh, outside of the Groovies mm-hmm. business? Let's see, the Groovies tour. Your old band. Up. What about your oh, my old band? band? Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. We, I'm, the, the, the Phantoms, we got that new album out. Uh, it's on iTunes. Uh, you can awesome. go to phantomsrock.com and check it out from there. Mm-hmm. It's rock and roll. You know, it's rock and roll. And you know, then the I Groovies album is coming out when? Oof, man, hopefully sometime next year, you know. Oh, you're, you're just going to start recording it after November. No, we've already started. We st- we're four songs deep already, and we're going to come back and do another four. So, and then come back at, uh, around December and keep uh, keep uh, recording. Cool. We, we want to get this record out, you know, and then we want to tour next year and have a new record and to uh, to promote, you know, and go to Europe and stuff, hit the festival. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so you know, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening with the Groovies, and I'm and I'm really happy for them, you know, because they deserve all the attention they're getting, mm-hmm. if not more, you know, because I love the band. I'm a fan first and foremost, you know. I I've no, I'm not delusional or anything about. I'm playing the drums for them because, to me, I'm like doing my part of helping keep this music alive, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's all it is, you know. It's really about George, Chris, Cyril, Roy, Michael, James. It's about all those guys. It's about the history of the band, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good and to say like, they're still going after all these years. After what, forty years? My yeah, goodness. And they, or and fifty fans, years? It's fifty years almost. Yeah, and they've got mm-hmm. fans all over the globe. <laughs> yes, Amazing. they do, and they yes, and they do, and they still got it always. I know. Anyways, I just. Mm-hmm. I take my camera and I just try to document as many pictures as I can, you know. Now there's now we've got a documentary crew that's going to follow mm-hmm. us on this tour, and they're they're working on a Flaming Groovy film. That's good. Oh. They should do a documentary yeah. about the Flaming Groovy. Yeah, oh, that's your wow. inside yeah. scoop. You heard that here first. <laughs> great, great, mm-hmm. great. Absolutely awesome. All righty, all righty, all righty. We are getting down to the last few seconds of the radio program. I just want to say please check out the phantomsrock.com and anything Flaming Groovies on Facebook. Yes, absolutely. What a blast it was with Mr. Victor and Penalosa. What an awesome experience. You are a you are charming and you are magical, let me tell you. And also Girl oh, George is, is yes, of course. And of course None other than Girl George illuminates that. <laughs> she Great is awesome. talking to you, Victor. You're a rock star. Oh, geez, yes. no, I'm not. Thank you, though, for the <laughs> invite. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for your time and all, and all the effort you guys put into to your show. It's great. It's fun mm-hmm. to listen to. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I'll tell absolutely. those guys you guys said hi. Yes. Awesome. Okay. All right, Girl George, you are amazing. What a wonderful Sunday afternoon on the very first week of November. I hope that your birthday was a blast. And it was I great. Uh, keep, uh, yes, and let's hope it keeps going for the rest of the year. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> knowing you, it's a, yes, Thank you. Knowing Girl George. Yes, you and too. happy birthday to Victor. Yes, absolutely. Yay, happy birthday Scorpio. to Victor. Yes, yes. Of course, you, you guys time. do rule, believe me. <laughs> yes, you do. Carlos right, Carlos guys. came to my birthday party. You know Carlos Guitarlos? Yeah. Oh, he came to my birthday party from L.A. and played with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, cool. That was cool. <laughs> Always. All right, this is the Gypsy Poet of GPR signing off saying adio for now. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>